Pregame.com. Floyd Money Mayweather, Vicious Victor Ortiz, Saturday night. Who do you like? Floyd Mayweather, baby, all day. I don't, you know, everyone's putting weight into the 16-month layoff, but you know, Mayweather's a guy who five fights in five years. He's he doesn't new to this. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't take layoffs. He's still training. It's what people don't realize. Mayweather is still training, even when he says, "Oh, I'm retired and this and that." It's because it's bred in him. That's all he knows how to do is train. So. Mayweather all day. I think the layoff, if anything, that's just help his longevity. Right. If he was state active, there'd be no question who the pound for pound king is. Absolutely. Um, but because he hasn't stayed active, you know, we're arguing back and forth, Pacquiao or Mayweather. This line right now is different depending on the book you're, you're shopping at. And I think that's the most telling sign in this fight. The sharper book, like the Greek, has... Mayweather as high as minus 900. But when you look at a, a shop like Bodog, which doesn't cater to sharp money, they have Mayweather at minus 600. I think the line's going to continue to drop at the uh, more public shops. I think come fight night, especially at the MGM Grand, when the betters start going to the window and they want to put up their 50, their 100, right. they're going to want to win back you know, 500, they're not going to want to put up 100 to win $20, right. $15. Um, I think that line's going to drop even more. Um, a lot of guys I spoke to say they wouldn't be surprised if Mayweather goes off at minus 500 or lower at the MGM Grand. Wow. Personally, I think this line should be closer to minus 1,000. Oh, me too. I think this is a, a perfect hand-picked opponent for Mayweather. Ortiz is going to just come straight at him. And that's the worst thing you could do with Mayweather. He's The way to beat him is you have to have a jab. We saw mm -hmm. Oscar De La Hoya give him problems with the jab early. We saw Jose Luis Castillo give him problems mm -hmm. with the jab early. No brawler has given him any headaches. No, no, I agree with you. Um, I, I think also a pressure, a, a jab with a pressure fighter will, can, you know, can give Mayweather problems. It's just like you said, no one's been able to do it. Um, I don't see this being any different. You know, I, I, like I was talking before the video, I think this is going to be very similar to how the Mosley Mayweather fight. Where Mosley's going to come out, you know, just how Mosley did. He came out the first three rounds, and he was trying. May land the he big was trying. punch. Yeah, well, I, and I expect Ortiz to land at least a couple shots. To you, and that could be just from Mayweather's nerves, his adrenaline going he in the beginning. He walks around 165. Ortiz is a big guy. He is a big guy, yeah. So, he, you know, but reportedly he's already in weight. So, you know, I don't think that's a big deal at all. Um... I just don't think that now. My, the other big factor here with this fight is that this is only Ortiz's second fight at 47. Exactly. And Mayweather's been here forever. And you look know? at the stage forever. he's on exactly. now, having to deal with exactly. all the media, all the obligations via the media, right. and training for the biggest fight of his career right. against boxing's biggest draw at the moment. I, I think this is a huge step up in class for him. Huge. While for Mayweather, this may even be a step down. And you can't blame the guy. I mean, he's fighting who everyone more or less is saying may be the next best. Right. Pretty much top five at that weight class. He beat Birdo. Well, and everybody wanted to, yeah. you know, Floyd to fight somebody. If he's not going to fight Pacquiao, they were saying fight Birdo. Right. He can't fight, you know, he beat Mosley. Who else is left? Birdo. Ortiz beat Birdo. Right. So he stepped up and took on Ortiz. What do you think of the Southpaw issue? I keep hearing over and over, Mayweather doesn't do good against Southpaws. My opinion, the only Southpaw he ever had problems with was Zab Judah. Mm -hmm. And if you say winning 8 of four of 12 rounds is having problems, then he is the best fighter of our generation, if not of all time. Because he won 8 of 12 rounds against Judah, mm -hmm. and yet people say he had problems with a southpaw. He looked great against Mitchell, mm -hmm. you know, Chambra Mitchell. He's a southpaw. He was shot, though. Exactly, <laughs> but I'm saying yeah. some of his best fights were against southpaws mm -hmm. because he has that great right hand that's the recipe to beat southpaws well i i, I don't put any much credence in it because you think about this most orthodox fighters are gonna have problems with southpaws it's just the nature of the beast in boxing but as far as mayweather goes no i don't think it's an issue at all because like you said the guy's undefeated dude no one's been able to beat him so uh i, I don't think it's an issue at all uh if anything it's going to benefit mayweather because mayweather's money punch 
pun intended, is his lead right hand. Exactly. You know, and so that counter. And, and he and, and he does it against everybody, orthodox or southpaw. It doesn't matter. That's the shot that he rocked Zab Judah with several times. That's the shot he not he rocked Mosley with, and he could have knocked Mosley out if he wanted. If he uh, want at any time, he could have knocked Mosley out. I know when it, when they get into the ring, it's up to the fighters. Yeah. It's not up to the trainers. But I think too many. Uh, there's not enough emphasis put on the training difference for both fighters. You have uh, Roger Mayweather, mm -hmm. who's shown he's one of the best in the game, and I loved when, when I got a chance to interview him when this camp was going on, um, what he said was, we don't have a game plan. Right. We don't, there is no game plan for us. They need to come up with a game plan because we 41 have tried and 41 have failed. So we don't go in with a game plan. We do what we do. Ortiz has to come in with the game plan. Do you think Ortiz using Garcia now, mm -hmm. the younger Garcia, right. is that a bad move? Well, I, I wouldn't say it's he a bad move. He took them on before the Birdo fight, and they won. It's or before the Maidana fight, which was more or less yeah. the... the I, I think, honestly, it has. it's more to do with it's the best option that he has. He doesn't... I mean, there's other trainers out there, yes. But there's nobody out there that, that could get him ready, that he could get with that would help him for this fight. You know, there really isn't. There is nobody. No one else can prepare him for this fight other than what he has. See, I think it, it's a bad move what he did. You know, he was with the elder Garcia and his father. Right. And before the Madonna fight, uh, Victor Ortiz said, I'm sick and tired of being humiliated by these, my trainers and they're just ripping me, in, you know, instead of building my confidence, they're, they're ripping me apart with these speeches. And he dumped them, and he went with the younger brother, mm -hmm. and now the family doesn't talk, but they make a long story short, and I'm not knocking anyone for how they make a living, God bless them, but we saw in, in, in the 24-7 that during the day, he drives a Coca-Cola truck. He's a part-time trainer. And I'm sorry, but if you're about to be on stage with the greatest fighter probably uh, of our era, like Modern I said, era, for and, sure. and one of the best of all time. I agree. Do you want a trainer who has a, a, a day job? No, no, I want I want the best money can buy. That you know? makes no <laughs> sense to me at no. all. Yeah, right, I agree. No, And I don't know why. He should be at a wild card gym with, with a Freddie Roach. He should be in Kronk yeah. with an Emmanuel Stewart or, or one of his disciples. I mean, the, him being with, with a trainer like this when they're at this kind of stage, I don't think he realizes what he's in for. And you said earlier that you're hearing he's having some, some issues with uh, mental issues. I mean, the best way you could put it, anxiety attacks right. lately. Yeah, that's what I did. I was reading online and, you know, whatever the Internet people say, is that the rumor is is that he was struggling with, with this camp because of, how how tough they they were making it on him, and and the rigors of his training for this fight because he's been trying to push himself as as hard as he can for this fight. So then that makes me think that is he overtraining? Maybe is he, uh, you know, is it, you know he does. I guess on twenty four seven they said that, oh how he had his day off when he went fishing. That was the first I heard that that was his first day off that he had the whole camp. Right. You know. So you know now it begs him to play. Is he overtraining? Is he going to leave it in right. the gym? Right. Personally, I think. This is a steal. I think the true odds on this fight are closer to minus 1,000. I really don't think Ortiz has a shot. I don't even want to talk about a puncher's chance right. because I don't think he's going to have too many chances to land against Mayweather. He is the best defensive fighter mm -hmm. we've seen. I mean, forget uh, Bernard Hopkins. Floyd Mayweather is a defensive fighter who uses defense to, to be offensive. Mm -hmm. I mean, he throws those counters after he rolls that shoulder. And that straight right hand is going to keep uh, Ortiz at bay. Or Ortiz is going to keep coming forward. He's going to try to come forward. But like I said, he doesn't have a jab. And because of that, he's going to just walk into Mayweather's right hand all day long. I don't see how. I, I tried to visualize it because I said there's... If you take a dog at this kind of price, you don't have to be right that often to make money. Right. But I really can't see how he's going to do anything against Mayweather. Mayweather, you can't be a brawler to beat right. Mayweather. No. You have to be a boxer. Mm -hmm. He, uh, the the worst, the easiest fighters, the easiest fights Mayweather's had is against guys who have gone in there 
with the intentions of knocking him out. Right. Like a Ricky Hatton type guy. Right. Those have been the easiest fights for Mayweather. If you're going in there with the mentality that you're going to knock him out, you have no chance to win the fight. And that's what Ortiz is coming in with. That I'm going to drop him. I hit too hard. I'm too big. Mm -hmm. Not talking about boxing. Mm -hmm. And I saw, uh, what's it called, Lamont Peterson mm -hmm. outbox Ortiz. Right. I mean, Ortiz dropped him twice and then there was a draw because he got so Still got outboxed. outboxed right. I don't see how he's going to be in, in there with Mayweather and do absolutely anything. I love Mayweather. I know by saying, okay, lane 500, it, you know, we were going to say that's a minus 500. He should win. But there's a lot of talk about Ortiz being a live dog. I want to kill that talk right now. Yeah. This dog isn't barking. This dog isn't biting. Uh, I think it's a waste of money to step up and bet Ortiz. Well, the thing with this is that what people have to remember is this is what makes Mayweather who he is. You know, and I'm not, not, I'm not a Mayweather writer, this and that. I'm a boxing fan, first and foremost. Now, the thing with Mayweather, what makes Mayweather so great? I don't care about all of his arrogance and all the brag, the showman part of who Mayweather is. What may, makes Mayweather so great is that he has ring intelligence and timing. That's what makes him so much better than everybody else. I'm, the, I'm one of the few people out there who thinks he, he I won't say he won't destroy, but he dominates Pacquiao if and when they fight. Oh, he'd he definitely gets dominated. beat the Pacquiao. So in the, in the he'd be a favorite, and Pacquiao would go off as the favorite because so much money would come in on Pacquiao. But right. I think stylistically, Mayweather wins that Absolutely. fight. Absolutely. And I don't think it would be a, a close fight. I think it would be a pretty overwhelming you know, deci a unanimous decision. Now, as far as this fight goes, Mayweather has every advantage in this fight. Mayweather's chin's better. I think Mayweather's power is very underrated. People composure. Don't, composure, exactly. Big fight experience. Uh, uh, footwork. He's, right. He'll out footwork. You know, when so. he can beat people up. Well, look at the guys he's you fought. You can't beat Mayweather up. Right. That just stylistically, the way he fights, you're not going to be able to beat him up. You're going to have to outbox him. And right. set him up for later and if Ortiz you're going to knock him out. Do that, Ortiz so, can't do it. No. I love Mayweather in this fight. I do too. So there's there's really no no other way to go. It's Mayweather all Mayweather, day. Mayweather, Saturday night, 42nd win, walks out, still undefeated, still number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world.